Well, a good job by the ground crew uh, getting that tarp rolled out as there has been a rain delay, but look how far they have to go to carry it. <laughs> They're covering the outfield. <laughs> Now they've got a, I mean, a long way to go to get that tarp on the infield. I would think that there's got to be a better way to do this, Ralphie. They're going to have a lot of experience doing this. There's no doubt about it. When you're in Florida in the summertime, you get these rain showers. Well, they're, they're covering the outfield, though, now. <laughs> it's the infield they want to keep dry. <laughs> Well, when uh, Joe Robbie Stadium was open back on August 16th, 1987, they didn't need a tarp. For it was that night when the Chicago Bears beat the Miami Dolphins 10 to 3. 73,000 for football in this stadium, 43,909 the capacity for baseball. But these guys have a long way to go with that tarp. It feels getting very wet while they're coming up from right field. That's my point. Instead of uh, a tarpaulin, they're going to have to re spell that and call it a tarp pulling contest. They're on the infield. It's like got to be a better way to, to do turn. this now. I, you know, I, I might be old fashioned, but look at the left side of the infield. <laughs> And now they are bogged down. In the process, in the process, I mean, you could see this coming. The left side of the infield is just, and one guy is out in right field. <laughs> this is great. They cannot move it. But see, guys, I don't know anything about keeping a field, but I do know that if you roll that closer to the infield, you don't have to drag it as far. It doesn't get as wet I mean, while you're dragging it, so it gets too heavy to pull. They have come to a sudden halt here. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't see any solution. Unless they get a group of people from the stands. I mean, the left side of the infield, and all they're doing is shaking the tarp, trying to get it. Comes a man it's help. not. <laughs> you've heard of you've heard of fan appreciation day. This could be the first fan participation night because that's what's needed to get this tarp over on the left side of the infield. What is going on? You know who should be out there helping them? Jeremy Burnett. If, I, I mean, if, if that's my first first major league home run, now they're going to try it again. Yeah, but what about the left side of the infield? I guarantee you, shallow right is dry as a bone. The left side of the infield, I mean, it was drier on Noah's 33rd day. <laughs> this reminds me of the time they had a rain in Los Angeles in the first time. Now it's a race. They figure if they get enough momentum going, look at this wall of tarp they've got to go through. Looks like a ride at Disney World. The Caterpillar. Put this act at Disney World and that have something to say. <laughs> So they battle through the caterpillar, and here they come again. It's a momentum, fellas. The charge of the wet brigade. They got a little momentum right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they reach the block. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> well, you got to laugh about this. I mean, this is the most fun the Mets have had all year. John Franco saying, oh, man, comic relief. I wonder if they thought about possibly all of them going to the other end and maybe bringing that part over. I mean, that is a thought. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac Hayes' theme from Chef is being played in the background. Or is that uh, Mission Impossible, I guess? Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. In the meantime, the shortstop third base positions are just being dead used. Well, I mean, if that look right there doesn't say what that man and his team have gone through this year, uh, gone through because of their own performance, granted, but gone through nonetheless. The only thing that would make this even worse if the Mets had about an eight run lead and. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Jeremy Burnett could lose his first major league home run, a memorable clout. I mean, he smoked it to right. It's not and like now, I mean. Had rain before. <laughs> It's not it's not like Dodger Stadium that you mentioned no. before like uh, you know that there's a, an unusual chance for it to for the clouds to open up but I mean the left side of the infield is absolutely inundated with water. And there's Jeremy Burnett. He's got to be it looks like he was looking at where he hit that home run saying don't tell me wait a minute. Well, this would be a perfect break for Coca-Cola Classic. <laughs> this is a classic. This is a classic. in late July of 1864 General George Pickett at a little town in Pennsylvania named Gettysburg had a famous charge and I'll guarantee you this grounds crew here in Miami charging about as zealously as Pickett's crew here it is instant replay take it Ralph talk about a stone wall <laughs> stone wall Jackson never had it this bad <laughs> Watch this. They're going full speed ahead. Urged down by the crowd, urged down by both teams, and they come to a screeching halt. Oops. <laughs> Just like a volley had been fired into them. Even Renee Latchman, the manager, is out to help them. And uh, That is the first time all year that we've seen that many people in a Mets dugout laugh. <laughs> you got to laugh to keep from crying. That's right. They're taking the tarp now out toward left field. They're going to come in and come in from another side. I have an idea. You know there has been a problem uh, worldwide Brazil in particular with the rainforest. I have an idea. Just send this ground crew to Brazil and those like and our rainforest will be protected. <laughs> I mean, there are several new species growing on the left side of the infield now. <laughs> Trees have uh, have well, sprouted roots, potatoes, new animals and everything. And also the other side of the coin is the rain has practically stopped. Of course. Here they go. <laughs> Pickett's charge. They've given up the frontal attack, and now they're coming in from the flank. Flank. Here. Flank. You got it. <laughs> this is a flank attack right here. The frontal didn't work. You saw the volley stopped them. Everyone knew how ludicrous Pickett's charge was, and. Uh, 
Man, Here it is 129 years later and just as ludicrous. <laughs> They've gained about 20 feet though by this maneuver. I would say in another half hour they'll they'll probably get it right. In the meantime the rain has stopped. To almost uh, almost stopped. <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, uh, you might be interested. It is 4,430 miles from Miami to Edmonton. <laughs> we we found that out. Here we go. They've, Earlier. They've, they've made it. Look at this. They're going to make it, and it stopped raining completely. <laughs> it has stopped. Oh, this is wonderful. Hallelujah. And now. We need a telestrator, but the second base side and the first base position are not covered. But it stopped raining, so who cares? So I guess you could say about this ground crew that before it stops raining, they'll have it on. <laughs> Oh, this is classic. 